So obviously you might know that Kylian Mbappe is now the French captain following the retirement of their captain Hugo Lloris and uh, their assistant captain uh, uh, Varane, Rafa Varane. So that hasn't sat very well with Antonio Griezmann. He felt as if he probably is a senior player compared to Kylian Mbappe and thought perhaps, just perhaps, maybe he should have been considered. He has been made the assistant captain to Kylian Mbappe. Yeah, this one, I, I feel as if for most people, they feel, you know, Kylian did carry this team in the world, in the previous World Cup in 2022. He seemed to be their key player. Hugo already said, had some games where he was a, he, he neither here nor there. Is it a right decision for Didier Deschamps? Yes, because uh, one, uh, uh, there's a new generation of the French national team coming in. Of course, the Pogba's, as you say, the Varane's, the Loris are not going to be there for the Benzema's. They're not going to be there. So th you have to come in with something. You have to completely shuffle the team and come up with a new setup. And then when you come up with a new setup, who is it that you're going to rely on? week in week out in like three four five major tournaments going forward if you have to choose between griezmann and mbappe i'll go for mbappe because just other than his performances you look at him as the poster boy of the team i mean when the french national team is arriving for an assignment when french national team players are arriving for training you will tend to see mbappe's photo uh, mm. as compared to griezmann he's somebody that He's an Olunga for Kenya. You mm -hmm. know, if, if Arambe stars are heading somewhere, you'll probably see Olunga's photo. If there's a fixture involving Arambe stars, you'll probably see Olunga's image there other than any other player. He's, he's the one that will tickle the fans, make them excited, and then he will perform on the pitch. Uh, I'm not so sure about Griezmann's claims, the justification of why it should be him and not Mbappe. And I'll also put this disclaimer. I'm not so sure it's Griezmann who said it, unless I see a video of him, not even an audio. <laughs> of him saying because <laughs> We work for the media and we know sometimes the media can yeah, say something. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if indeed uh, these are claims from Griezmann, I don't think they have that legitimacy because of the grounds on which he has to be captain. He's an assistant captain. So, there's consideration. There are 30 players in camp probably. There are 23 players called up. There are 18 players who are going to play a game. You've been considered amongst the best two leaders. I think he should put up with that for some night, for, for now. Uh, for for me, I initially I was against uh, Mbappe being given why the, the captaincy. Here's my thought. Now Griezmann has been in that team for a very long time. I think he's the longest serving player currently. Now he was there during 2016. He was there during 2018 and 2022. He's been there, done that. He has seen it all in, with the national team, and his performances at the national level have been second to none. In the, in the last World Cup, were, were it not for Griezmann, I don't think France would have reached where they, they reached because of the creativity. Mbappe did the finishing, Griezmann did the creativity. The unsung hero. Now, in a normal setting, I would go for Griezmann because just to you know reward him for loyal We're not service. Doing rewards here. We're Even not doing rewards. in a normal setting, <laughs> in a normal setting, but, but this, this is, this is a business. <laughs> uh -huh. This is business. And what I saw from Kylian Mbappe at the World Cup, and also putting it into context, it is a new generation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's no particular player in that squad that can tell Mbappe anything. The only other person who could have told Mbappe anything is Varane. And Varane is also, has also retired. Yes. yes. So it's Mbappe. If you look across the board, he, w he was arguably, a part, for me in 2018, I would have given Mbappe the best player. Does Rabio have any stake in this? Because he's no, also uh, no, uh, because he's not he's not on a short start of the squad, so okay. you're not going to have a captain on the bench. Yeah, I'll, I'll just maybe do a rebuttal to to Elijah and tell him that Griezmann is 32. He might not even be in the French squad for the next one year. Yeah, he might not yeah, even he make will. it to the. He, 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 I'm saying mm. if 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 he is if, if he retires today, uh, nobody will really complain that wow we really needed more from him and this and this mm. and this. I think I think uh, Deschamps is looking so much forward. And he's looking at the boys and men who are going to do the job for him for the next three or four years. And he might not say it aloud because uh, he does not want to hurt Griezmann. But I don't think he's planning for Griezmann, Griezmann in the next Euros uh, to be an integral part of his squad. Now, the French have a big academy called Client 4. It produces some very good players very, very consistently. And... Uh, 
at some point in time i don't really think griezmann is somebody who's going to be a reliable player of the french team considering the attacking players you just need to watch ligua just the mm. highlights mm. the number of players who are knocking on the door to get into the squad and how just look at the world cup final for example mm. when mm. the Giroux and so on so didn't perform in the first half dishom just subbed them and brought in some players who played some very good football mm. and took argentina to the penalties they just didn't have the exposure and experience to get through the penalties but they did the job so griezmann for me right now let him, him be the assistant uh, captain and probably an assistant coach on the bench because he's not going to get so much football. Mm, and I was, uh, I was about to add one other point. I watched a clip of uh, the ha- a clip of the World Cup. Yeah, it was a halftime clip changing in the changing room. And it was the final. It was Argentina were leading 2-0. Was it 2-0? Yes, I think it was 2-0 at that particular time. And Mbappe was giving a passionate rant. Mm-hmm tearing down the team and guys telling them guys we cannot play like this yeah, this is the final yeah. the only other time we're going to get to this particular point again is 4 years yes. from yes. now yes. we have now, to do something at his age it shows the fire the hunger mm. the confidence to yeah. stand up in front of all these other players who are, who are top players we have Varane in that squad with a Champions League winner not even once not even twice and finally if 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 the Shams had to annoy one person between Mbappe and, Desha- and, and and Griezmann. If it came to that, I don't think he'll, I don't, I don't think he'll be very in loose lip that Griezmann is angry and ranting. Oh, Out of well, the two, he'd, well, he'd well, rather have a, a, a Griezmann that is ranting than a Mbappe that is <laughs> ranting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 